Solar eclipses are kind of rare. The last one that crossed the United States was in 1919, a long time ago. So this one is 2017, and the date is August 21st. And then after that one, the next opportunity is 2024. And then there'll be another one crossing the United States in uh, 2045, which is also not disastrous, you know. But again, there, the, the spacing can be, because it's a matter of you have to be where the shadow is, and that's a small area. To the west of you, the, uh, the shadow will be on that spot of the ground, and so the atmosphere will look dark. And then you'll see that thing coming closer and closer and closer to you. And actually, its average speed, which I calculated, was about 28 miles per minute the average speed crossing the United States. So, so basically you want to be as close to the center line of totality as you can. So the, the moon's shadow in this case will make a spot on the Earth's surface about 70 miles, 60 miles in diameter. And so you want to be in that spot at the right time because it's moving across the United States. And that's where you have to be to see the total phase. And uh, you'll be in the shadow and during that time as the light gets dimmer, before you get to totality, the animals and the birds will start to do their dusk thing. And you'll feel a slight temperature drop. And then you look up and uh, you'll see uh, the sun's disk blooded up by the moon, which will be, in this case, about 3% larger in diameter than the sun's apparent diameter. And that will be maybe black in color or dark gray. And then you'll see these red flames sticking out, not too far, but around the sun's edge. Uh, and those are called prominences. So those are very hot parts of the solar atmosphere that will just uh, spring up here. And those are basically loops of gas that go up and fall down. And you can see those with the naked eye. Uh, and then you'll see a little bit of silvery or pearly colored corona surrounding uh, you know, the, the dark gray disk of, of the moon. So you have that silvery fringe and the red flames and then the black or gray disk of the moon. When the sky is now totally dark, you ought to be able to see that bright star Regulus and then the planet Venus, and that would be nice. Still water, it'll start in round numbers about 11.40 in the morning, and then the maximum coverage will be about 1.06 p.m., and then it'll be over around 2.30. There'll be several places in town, for example, the Stillwater Public Library, the OSU Library, uh, that will be handing out uh, uh, Eclipse sunglasses, which are safe to view the sun with, and you say, holy, you know, holy cow, because it's amazing, you know, to see these things with your naked eye, and, and no funny tricks, you know, um, and that lasts for two minutes and 40 seconds, if you're lucky.